What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cougar Trainer, coming at you with another video to make you better than what you were the day before. Now, what I'm going to go over tonight is things that are basic that I've been getting a lot of questions about. And it's going to be basic nutrition. It's going to be ab workouts. And how do I get rid of that food? I'm going to bring all that to you and let you know what you need. So, when I come back, have your pen, have your paper, everybody that you want to sit down and know this information to make your weight go down, to understand how to do it, to understand what to eat and what exercises to do, tune in. It's your boy, Cooper Trainer. All right, now for these ab exercises that you want to do, there are a few things that you're going to need. The first thing that you're going to need is either a kettlebell or a medicine ball. This is an eight pound one. There are a lot of places you can get this. If you need one, let me know and you can purchase them for me as well. But, lights went out. All right, like I was saying, there are a lot of things that you can do to help you out at home. Um, medicine ball is one of the more beneficial things. With your medicine ball, we're gonna do twists for the obliques. So we're gonna be going side to side with the obliques. I'm gonna show you that. The next thing that you need to have, is a regular plain mat like the one I have in here in the gym. Plain mat like this, this is going to help your back a whole lot. Lay it down flat. Now, for the ones of you that feel that these exercises that you can do at home that I'm about to show you is a little too easy, what I have also are alternatives to that. We have knee raises, we have things where we'll be laying back, and I will get into that later on, but for right now, I'm gonna show you three exercises that's gonna to help to get rid of that pooper. It's gonna be crunches, it's gonna be reverse crunches, and it's gonna be broomstick twists. That's the very beginning. That's not the only thing you need, but that's what's gonna help you get to the area that you need to get to, help you try to eliminate the fat, not just in one area, but in all the areas at once. Now also we have to do cardio and we have to get our nutrition together. So all that will come together as we do this and we'll make you better and better by giving you more information, more knowledge. If these are things that you like to hear, these are things that you like to know about, or if you know someone who would like to know about it, have them come to the channel, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever you have a problem with or whatever you have an issue with and you want somebody to resolve it or do a video on it, I'm the person for it. So. Coming up, we're gonna do the three ab exercises and we're gonna do them for reps of 10. We're doing a low number just so everybody can keep up and everybody can know what we're doing and understand it. We're gonna start with the crunch that's gonna be on the mat. Then we're gonna do that for three sets, 10 reps. The next thing we'll do is the reverse crunch. The reverse crunch is gonna hit the lower part of the abs. We're gonna do three sets of that, 10 reps. Next, we're gonna do the broomstick twist. We're gonna do 10 reps to each side and we're gonna do three sets. That's gonna be it, that's all we're gonna do, and that's just gonna warm us up and get people who are not used to using their abs see what it feels like. Now, when I come back, we're gonna get into it. All right, down on the mat, first exercise that we're gonna do is the crunch. It's very simple. You lay down on your back, you have your feet flat, you're gonna make sure that you're stable. You're gonna crunch your abs up and feel the top area of your stomach. It's not a very far movement that you have to go, it's a short distance, and it's about maybe two, three inches, but it's very effective because it lets you focus directly on the top of the abs. How we're gonna do this is just like this. Uh. You're gonna lay down flat, like I am. All down by your side. The next thing that you're going to do is crunch your abs straight up. So curl up, like you're trying to bend your abs at the very top. Squeeze at the top, come back. Top, come back. Top, come back. You get to the top, you want to squeeze and hold those top abs. You'll feel that right here on the top. And we want to do those and squeeze on every rep at the top. Continue to do this until you have done 10 reps.
I did a few extra just in case somebody wanted to do a few more, but that's the tempo of it. Go up, squeeze your abs, come back. Go up, squeeze your abs, come back. And you want to do this continuously. Now, what we're going to do is work on the lower portion of the abs, the part that everybody calls the fupa. And that's the area that is at the very bottom on this realm here. People call it the fupa. It's the hard to reach area. It drops down, but we're going to get that. We're going to get that with a reverse crunch. So, what I want you to do, lay back on your back, feet flat. Now, if you cannot do this without holding something behind you, then I will show you how to do that. But to start out with, we're going to start laying on our backs, hands flat, and we want to pull our knees all the way to our head, stick our feet to the air. By doing that, you're going to lift your butt up in the air, and that's how you flex the lower region of the stomach. That's how you're going to focus deep on those muscles that's at the very bottom. You have to squeeze with all these motions. So, a couple sets, I mean a couple of reps, let you see what it is. Hands straight down, back down, you're flat, relax. Feet out, pull them in, up. Pull them in, pull them in. And that's a reverse crunch. It's not very hard. It's something that you can do. If it is too difficult to put your feet straight to the air, then just tuck. That's all you got to do. Just tuck. Pull your knees straight to your head. Lift your butt up. You don't have to throw your feet in the air. Work up to that. And it's easy. This one is a little different. Now we're going to use the ball. This is what I want you to do with the medicine ball. Feet are going to be flat again. And you're going to rock back. Hold your feet up in the air. Put the ball to the side. Twist. Put it to this side. Keep doing that. Let it fall. Non stop. Each side. Doing this right here will work that core. It's going to work the obliques. It's going to give you control. It's going to help you stabilize your body. You want to do 10 to each side. Um, a trick. If you're not ready to do the weight, do not do the weight. Your body will tell you exactly what you can do. If that's too much, feet down, lean back, lean to the left, lean to the right, lean to the left, lean to the right. This is a lot more stable, but it still is very effective. And that's it. Now, for the people that this is a little bit too easy for, and you need something a little more difficult while you're in the gym, I'm about to bring it to you now. All right, I'm back, and this is what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is work on the lower region of the abs, that lower fupa area. Now, you said that, you know, this cannot be hard enough. Uh, maybe you need a little bit more intensity than just doing more reps or more sets. What this is, is called the hanging knee raises. I'm gonna do the hanging knee raises in for me to make it a little more difficult. What I'm gonna do is have me a 20 pound dumbbell. I'm gonna pick it up between my feet and I'm gonna curl my knees straight up. Now, the trick to all of this, to understand that you wanna hit the lower region of the stomach, the lower region of those abs and to work those flexes, 
is that you must flex at the bottom. You must go into posterior tilt. Posterior tilt is where you take your pelvis here, you're straight up and down, or straight up and down like this, and you're curling it up. When you do that, you'll be able to see your butt. So basically like, if I lift my knees up and I go like this, and uh, you can see my legs in the front, like my shins, I'm not high enough. That means I know I need to go a little bit higher so that I can tilt more and my butt is showing in the back. That means that I'm flexing the bottom, reaching my abs a lot. I'm gonna do a couple of them that you see what I'm talking about. I like just to hang and do mine, so you don't have to do that. We do have straps over there, and I mean, it's a good aid. But for me, I just like to hold my body weight up. So, hold your body weight up like this, and you're gonna put your feet together, and you're gonna curl your, your knees straight up and tilt all the way backwards. Just like that. Controlling the body, up and down. So like I said, to make it a little more difficult, what you can do is just get the weights. I use 20 pounders. Um, matter of fact, I need to put my shoes on. I love working out with no shoes on. It's a bad habit, so give me a second. Let me get my shoes. Okay, I'm back. So I got on my shoes, and it's time to get it. Just do a few of them just so you can see what I'm talking about. Make it easy. Twenty pounders. Now here's the lower region of the abs. All right, now for the next exercise, what we're gonna do is try to focus on the obliques. The obliques are the sides of the abs. That's what change, have you determined from left to right, all the way around, begin to the transverse plane. So what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna take the broomstick, we're gonna put the broomstick behind us like this on our traps. We're gonna lean back on the decline bench. We're gonna twist left, right, back and forth. So, get on, put this down a little bit so you can see me better. Lean back here, hands tight, twist. And what that does, it focuses all on this side, all on this side. Now, to end it off, something that I like to do is hit the upper abs, decline crunch. I like it how I do mine. I take a weight like a plate, um, normally a, a 45, sometimes 35. I lay back, I lift the plate over my head when I come up. As I come down, I bring the plate down. And that focuses on the top of the abs here a whole lot. I'm gonna do a few of them, let's see what I'm talking about. You don't have to use the weight that I'm doing, use the weight that's good for you. Just a few. Felt pretty good. Probably gonna do a whole lot more. 
before I leave tonight. But the whole thing was showing you how you can work your abs from different angles, different ways, and it's not even that bad. So if you need something more contoured, detailed towards you, let me know and I'll make it for you. Holla at your boy.